I'm Keith Barron. I entered my clock into the IEEE Spectrum Clock Contest and uh, won. It's a uh, transistor-only clock, no ICs. I'd been working on the design for a few years and I finished it recently and then I heard about the contest. My goal was to see how many transistors, how minimum it would take to uh, build a functioning clock. So I'd done a lot of transistor circuitry in the past, so I pieced a lot of them together, did some research, and a few years of attempting to make divider circuits, and ended up with a slightly under 200 transistor clock that uh, kind of demonstrates how things were done in the past. This is a prototype. This is the divider board I worked on for a year or so to get it dividing right. Once I had all the divider boards working, I made a display board, which takes the, uh, the time, just four digits up, four bits up, shows the time. Then I had to build the uh, 60 hertz extractor with some analog filtering, all the transistors, no ICs. That was the fun of it. Once I had that working, I laid it out, which was a, a major effort, many tries, to lay it out in a, in a way that makes sense. Now I pulled the 60 hertz power right off of the line here and uh, detect it with some uh, comparators made out of transistors, and I filter it to get rid of the high frequency. That gives me a 60 hertz signal, and I start dividing by 10 and 6. I have 1 hertz right there. Divide by 10 and by 6 gives me minutes right here. 10 and 6, I have hours here. Let's divide by 12 for the hour count. Then I go up into the one of N decoders, and then into the seven segment decoders for the displays, and that makes a clock. This is all done in one IC these days, but this is how it used to be done. Here it is finished on a board. I think it's kind of wall art here. Ends up being pretty accurate because you're using the power company for a time. It ended up being 194 transistors. There's 566 diodes, 400 resistors, 87 capacitors, a few other components. That's tw uh, 2,700 solder joints to solder this together. And every one of them has got to be perfect to make the clock work.